In this video I'll be showing you the differences between the male and female heads so you can sculpt and maybe draw them more accurately. Do also check out my more detailed video on how to sculpt the head. Links for that are in the description along with my website and other great content. Now it's important to note before we begin that faces are very different and this is just a general guide for those that are struggling to identify the features that have strong differences between male and female faces. And this is meant as a guide, not hard and fast rules. The first thing to notice is the actual size of the head. The male head and skull is bigger than the female. However, the eye sockets are very similar sizes, hence why the female eyes seem wider apart and often bigger. And that's exaggerated in stylized characters. So the eyeballs themselves and the eye sockets are similar sizes because they're on a smaller head, they seem bigger. You'll also notice that the features on the male face are far more angular and rigid than the softer female face. So you'll tend to see more of the cheekbones and the brow and particularly the jawline. Going from top down, the top of the skull is sloping backwards further in the male skull than it is the female. So the female is slightly more upright. The brow is slightly protruding on the male, whereas the female, it's very soft and there's not a lot of brow line. Along with that, the brow line on a male is much lower down and closer to the eye, whereas the female, it's higher up and therefore more of the top eyelid is showing. The eyebrows are also higher up, whereas the male, they're closer to the eye. Next, we see the nose in terms of the shape. Females tend to curve inwards more like this, whereas the males are more angular. They can sometimes stick out slightly. From the front, you can see the nose size. It's wider and longer for the males than it is the females. Coming to the base of the nose, the front comes down further than it does for a female, and their noses are slightly higher up at the front here. So you'll actually see more of the nostril of a female than you will a male. Then onto the mouth, there's a slight difference in width. The female's is slightly thinner and less wide out towards the side of the mouth, although the lips are fuller when you get to the middle. Then the jawline, you can see the female is far less prominent and that's where a lot of the difference in the overall size is lost when it comes to the jawline. The chin is usually thinner and comes more to a point. It's also worth noting that the palate is thinner as well. So the teeth will be further in towards the middle of the head as opposed to the males. Looking from the side, there's a much more prominent jawline coming down here for the males and then across, whereas there's far more of a curve sloping down for females. The ears are slightly smaller for females and generally less angular and kind of softer looking. The neck as well is a lot thinner for females and there's no Adam's apple. Of course, as I said earlier, these are very general guidelines and faces vary drastically from person to person. But hopefully you'll find this helpful if you're struggling to clearly make that visual difference. Thanks for watching and I hope this helps.